Thank you, cruisers, for joining us on our daily cruise news updates. We have five stories coming up as Carnival forced to address circulating rumours. Watch this video and more with news brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. A 28-year-old male was reported overboard from Carnival Cruise Line's Carnival Glory as the US Coast Guard was engaged in extensive search operations. She departed New Orleans on November the 12th for a seven-night Western Caribbean sailing. The male guest, identified by family members as Tyler Barnett from Louisiana, was reported missing the following day. Details about the reasons why he was reported missing or the timing have not been released. Crew members aboard Carnival Glory immediately began emergency measures, included accounting for everyone aboard. Carnival Vista has arrived at Port Canaveral and begun her first sailing from a new Central Florida home port. The ship will remain home ported at Port Canaveral at least through to April 2026, offering a diverse variety of itineraries for eager travellers to enjoy. Her first sailing, a five-night Eastern Caribbean sailing, was met with great fanfare typical of a ship's maiden visit to a new home port, including an exchange of plaques between Carnival Vista's captain and the port's vice president of cruise business development. Guests who set sail aboard MSC Meraviglia from New York on November the 13th will not be visiting Bermuda as originally scheduled for their six-night cruise. The ship was originally scheduled to stay in Bermuda from November the 15th through to the 17th before returning to New York on November the 19th. Now, due to poor weather, the wind forecast predicted to be 15 to 25 miles per hour, with gusts likely even higher. The engine was altered to spend a late day in Port Canaveral on the 15th, followed by a day in Nassau and two days at sea before returning to New York on schedule. Guests aboard Sky Princess were informed that they would not be visiting the Azores as planned only shortly before their visit was to have begun. An ongoing maritime pilot strike has created a work stoppage, meaning the cruise ship does not have a proper guidance for safe docking. She is currently sailing a 15-night transatlantic cruise from Southampton in the UK to Fort Lauderdale in Florida. The Azores was to be the ship's first port to call, however, due to the strike, she will now continue on to Artiga before arriving at top Caribbean ports including St. Martin and Puerto Rico. Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Heald has been busy addressing guest concern over food-related issues, including where guests can enjoy a snack and what drinks they can sip along with it. While social media drives these rumours, Heald has displaced these by addressing several concerns that the rumour, as of December the 1st, Carnival Cruise Line will switch Pepsi to Coke is misled, as Carnival remains affiliated with Pepsi products. Also circulated is the rumour of banning guests from removing food from the Lido buffet to take back to their staterooms, something Heald also rebuffs. And thank you for everyone watching. My name is Paul and all the news you need is over on cruisehive.com. If anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.